I think that if you are a really creative person, a lot of the time that's coming from not such a good place. Making stuff is the way that you deal with it, you know? And so I feel like if you're more aware of, of how bad things are in the world, you're going to have more of a need to do that. And so the reason why I, I stress that people express themselves and, and create is because there's really no other option, you know? And, and I think that the reason why people are so sick is because, like, they're just waiting on other people to do stuff for them, you know? And so... I get the reluctance, though. I totally get it. Because, um... Yeah, people are assholes about it. your turn signal's on, unless, okay, good, good, good. You know, some people have their turn signal on, you don't know why, because they don't ever turn. Oh, they're waving at me, oh, sweet. <laughs> they waved out the window, like, stuck their hand on the wall. What the fuck are they doing? Is his wife having a baby or something? Cause that was a frantic wave too. But he's he's really anxious to get the fuck out of this traffic. But it's kind of dumb because when it's like this, it's like this. It's not gonna stop being like this until the road work is over. Or whatever. question and I replied obviously you just did so yes 
and they never responded. Maybe because I was being sarcastic. But I mean, that's not sarcasm. That's like true. Can I ask you a question? Question mark. I don't usually say, can I ask you a question? I usually say, I have a question. <laughs> Which is also stupid. I should just ask the fucking question, you know? But anyway, um, maybe it's because I'm a woman. Maybe that's why I do that. I just add unnecessary sentences. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they never asked. Now I'm just held in suspense. I have no idea. Maybe they were gonna ask me about my gender. But yeah. I don't think that I'm brilliant because of what I do. I just do it and it's not I don't really think it's that deep but to a society that's crumbling because they don't understand themselves it does seem deep so it's more for that society that I do it than it is for myself because I don't need to prove to myself anything and if I did, I definitely wouldn't be like, I'm going to take it to the internet, you know? That's where I'm going to receive my validation. I mean, I think that that's a huge problem. We need to stop looking to other people to validate us. We need to stop looking to accomplishments. It's like... Yeah, I, I know that, that I put out a lot of content, and some of it's not very good. <laughs> I guess depending on the viewer, it's like to, to some people my stuff is brilliant, and to other people it's shit, and they don't understand it, and they think it's unnecessary. But I don't know, like, I can't look at things like that, and not just because of what I do, but because just the fact that I'm an artist and like all artists should have this mindset of like yeah this is necessary whatever it is is whatever it needs to be you know and and yeah I don't expect people that don't make art to understand that because that's not the way that they think Well, honey, not everybody wants validation. Not everybody needs approval from the world. Like, people are so narcissistic that they are projecting their own narcissism and they just assume that, oh, you must be doing this for attention. You must be doing this because you want people to think a certain way about you. Which, you know, I, I try to look at this from their perspective, like, they just don't understand why it would be necessary to say some of the things that I say or do some of the things that I've done. I don't understand why y'all have phones to tell you where something is located. I don't understand like how, how that comforts you that the government is in your pocket all the time telling you where to go. And oftentimes that GPS steers you wrong, literally. You could end up in a fucking ditch, you know? That's what you get for trusting the government. You know? Like the kinds of people that bitch about the education system. It's like, this is what you get for trusting the government. It's like you trust technology, like it's gonna fail at some point. They're upset about the AI because they trust it. Up until this point, they've been trusting it to do every motherfucking thing for them. 
and now they're worried that it's getting too smart I hope it does I really do I hope it does it wipes all these pieces of shit out like if that seems like that's a really negative attitude it's because it is <laughs> okay life unworthy of life <laughs> You understand, though, that that's how the AI is going to see you. If the AI sees you that way, it's because you deserve to be seen that way. Okay? Aleister Crowley was right about the way that he looked at Americans. The way that he looked at society. He was like, you know, they're sheep. And I mean, I can see his perspective from the complete opposite angle. I have compassion on people. That's why I try to warn them about things that they still did. Regardless of me begging and pleading them not to do it, but I just look crazy. You know, I always do, so. I highly doubt that a sheep is gonna listen to a crazy person. You know, that's never gonna fucking happen. But yeah, I just, I get disgruntled about the way that things are and the way that people behave, but then I remember, well, they don't know any better. They really don't. They're of the world. And if they don't understand something, they just shit on it, you know? That's why they go after uh, my gender identity because it's easy at surface level. I don't expect you to listen or pay attention. I really comprehend anything I'm saying. That's not what you're. And you paid attention, you figure it out. Or maybe I'm just giving you too much credit. When your soul goal is to make another person feel like shit. I just laugh about it. on Twitter all the time like Twitter is a social experiment it really is I mean it's just it's just proven that people love to jump to their conclusions and it's also proven that people love to spout bullshit you know what time is it dude I should know by now not to come this way on a Saturday because I guess Saturday is when they're doing the road work. But <sighs> yeah, man, it's just. just weird it's just weird that like people want to be like ugly to, to something all because they don't understand it you know that that teaches you about the world though I'm, I'm glad 
that's why I like I say that it's more beneficial to have people that hate you than have people that love you because it it teaches you what your strengths are you know so I used to comment you know a little bit not very much but I would comment on other people's stuff I get impulsive and then I, I would type something and then like I keep watching the video and they would answer whatever question I had for them and I'm like well I'm fucking stupid you know I should have just waited but yeah I think I told y'all about the time that I left a, a, a comment maybe like five years ago or something I don't even know what the video was I was just bitching about women per usual and some chick got mad about it but I didn't see her rebuttal comment for like over a year. And the only reason I found out about it was because I, ch I randomly checked my email and I saw like, yeah, you, you had this comment posted on this uh, platform that you no longer use. That platform was a bit shoot. Yeah, I had a bit shoot account. I mean, I guess I still technically do. I just don't do anything with it but um yeah so that just kind of taught me that like yeah I don't need to be saying anything like that like the fact that this person got really offended by something I said and I didn't even know I mean it's it's just like I'm a conscious person you know I care I, I care how I come across because I don't want to be a hateful person. And so the, the fact that I came across as like super offensive and mean and, you know, it just bothered me. So I was like, you know, if, you, if you're not going to say good things that are like uplifting, like we already have enough negativity in this world. We already have enough shitheads, you know, that completely usurped the internet. So you know, do you really want to be, like, yet another person on the internet, like, leaving mean comments, and, um, and the answer to that was an obvious no, so, you know, I used to, you know, be, be in the process of leaving a comment, and then I would backspace, 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 start typing again, backspace, 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 and then I would whittle my comment down to like one, maybe two sentences. I just try to keep it as brief as possible and positive. Um, but I don't even do that. I don't even want to do that anymore. So now I'm not even at the point where I'm typing anything at all. So I know that's gross, baby. I know that's gross. If I'm not typing, that's gross. <laughs> you know, I mean, what I do On his channel, I, I would say, is enough. I don't, I don't need more social media. I don't need more ways to talk, you know? So, I know it gets really redundant, but that's life though, man. That's life. Our experience is very, very redundant. But, you know, I'd hardly be human if it wasn't.